Sushi's bartending tonight, ladies. Free roofie Rita's for all the ladies tonight. My name is Stefan Schneider. At the sweet age of 40, after 14 years of marriage and three kids, I came out of the closet. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been fucking awesome. I destroyed my family to affirm myself. It's been nothing but fucking great. I sometimes wish that I had come out of the closet when I was in my 20s, because when I was in my 20s, I was young, I was unencumbered, I had a pretty little face, I had a fit little body. Instead, I come out in my 40s. I'm fucking divorced poor. I have a bitter, angry ex. I have three kids who are scarred by the fact that I'm divorced and gay. And I have the body of a butch lesbian. I don't know that I appreciate it how much you guys laughed at me. So divorce is really hard because, you know, the divorce courts, it's fucking brutal. And I went through a three-year acrimonious divorce, which just finalized in February. Yeah! Woo! Thank you. My attorney's very happy. And, uh, you know, I, I say you go into the divorce courts and they change you. They really do. Because I went in as a straight liberal and I came out a gay conservative. <laughs> And if anybody's been through a divorce, it's really bad. Uh, you know, the courts, child support, I have three kids, so child support is not easy. I'm paying four and a half grand every month in child support. I tell you guys that there's not enough left over for me to eat, but that would obviously be fucking bullshit. <laughs> The judge came out with the judgment, and I remember I looked at my attorney, and I was like, is there somebody that I can blow to get out of this? <laughs> and one of my black girlfriends was like, your mistake was that you didn't marry a minority. You wouldn't know who to hate on more. <laughs> you know, and, and the worst part about child support in this country is if you don't pay it, they put you in jail. And then I was thinking to myself, <laughs> You're going to put me, a gay man in jail, with guys who have nothing to do but work out all day and plan ways to rape a softie like me? How many child support payments do I have to miss? I've had that fantasy every day since puberty. <laughs> On a much more positive note, I did meet the love of my life. I met him about six months after moving out. And uh, yeah, it's been great. We just moved in together. So, get this. He was formerly married for 25 years. He's an ex-Mormon, and he's got four kids. Yeah. We're a fucking reality show waiting for these guys. And, you know, I, it, it's funny too, because what makes things even more interesting is his oldest daughter is half black from his wife's previous marriage. So it only gets more colorful. And I was referred to us as the Gaby Bunch. I say that that's what our reality show is gonna be called. And whenever I make that reference, she gets a little pissed, because she's like, hold on a second. The Brady Bunch had six kids. We've got seven. I know who's going to get typecasted as Alice the Maid. <laughs> so, the other thing too, I work in executive search. And before I came out of the closet, I used to tell people I'm a headhunter. <laughs> because now when I say it, it just makes me look like I'm looking for talent on Grindr. <laughs> So I just tell people I'm an executive recruiter. And I, I find too, coming out of the closet is really hard because when I come out of the closet, I feel like I'm telling people, they, they automatically envision me with a dick in my ass or a dick in my mouth. It's kind of like when a woman tells you that she's pregnant and you say, congratulations. Hmm, how'd that happen? 
<laughs> you know you think it every single time they tell you, like, she got a bareback. <laughs> When I walk down the streets of Manhattan, I play this little game. I sometimes, you know, I'll spot this like fashion forward, kind of femmy looking guy, and I'll say to myself, is he gay or just visiting from Europe? <laughs> there, are a lot of, there are a lot of things you have to learn when you're gay in your 40s. Things that people who are gay much younger than I was have learned early on. I had to learn how to sashay. Because you gotta give up vibes, you know, if you're gonna meet somebody. No, 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 I don't do it well. I'm still like too fucking in the closet. Believe that or not. I had to learn not to request a blowjob after he's used Listerine. That was a spicy lesson. I had to learn things like um, not to perform anal several hours after eating a meal involving corn. And if that was uncomfortable for you, just imagine that my 80-year-old German mother is sitting back there tonight. I'm gonna finish on this. You know, I, I'm really lucky because coming out, coming out is not easy. I have a great group of friends. I have the most amazing family. My 80-year-old German mom, you know, I thought she would be so unsupportive. I, I was so worried about it, and she has been the coolest person in the world. You know, I think it's hard also because I'm the youngest of three boys. My oldest brother happens to be a redneck in Texas. My older brother happens to be gay and he's been out for 20 years. So when I came out of the closet, I know that she was supportive, but I think on some level she was disappointed. And I think that same day she called my brother in Texas and she said, Hello, Joe. This is your mother. Your brother Stefan came out of the closet today. He's gay like your brother Tom. <laughs> Do you have something to tell me? You guys have been great.